Morning Maras, how do you do? This is my podcast and it's just for you. It's called TED Talks and it's a load of shame. But I hope you enjoy it because I've kept it like It's about an hour long and all about his side, the people, the places and the Borough Pride. It's me, Ted. Uh, welcome to episode 116 of TED Talks, the Ted Aggie podcast. You may tell from its own voice I'm rather depleted. I'm a little bit down in the dumps because my beloved Middlesbrough were absolutely fucking garbage the other day and that caused all types of problems and uh, we didn't get into the playoffs and I'm really upset. Even Maller's not here yet and he's normally on time. Oh, hang on, who's this coming in? You can't sing that song anymore. That's why I'm happy. Yeah, we never have to hear that fucking song again. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a good point, Mally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> listen, if Middlesbrough fans, if we get another um, another footballer on loan who's foreign and you like his name, please come up with a better song than Hey, Slovenian. Slovenian. And he's only on loan for a season. Shite. Well, and we think he's fucking brilliant. Remind me with someone like that, and he's been convicted of treason. Or something. <laughs> you know, that's what we want. That's what we want. We want a, a proper rhyming song. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of an end of season recap today, Maller. I think because um, you know. We got everyone's hopes up on that last podcast. I don't, I don't want to I mean? go back through that season. Ted. No, do you know what? We should have made the Middlesbrough team listen to your motivational speech because they might have only got beat 3 0. Well, they did, didn't they? <laughs> well, aye, they did. That's why Tab put that header in. Do you notice, right? He did that just after half time because I only rang him up, didn't I? I ah. got straight through and I was like, hey, Tab, sort it out or you'll be getting a bat and he scored, but the rest of them yeah. didn't. Do you know sort what it mean? out, Tab, or you'll be playing wing back all next season as well. well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one likes wing back, do they? You know what I mean? So, but yeah, right. So the mighty Middlesbrough, we have fallen at the final hurdle, and we go again next season. We are T side. We are proud. Well, I uh, yeah, and right. Fingers crossed. Sunderland don't get up because I fucking eight years. Because then all the Macams will be like, hey, yeah, uh, why I cheesy chips and that, but we're not from Newcastle, you know. But we're better than yay. I'm, I, I I want them to come up purely for the fact I want. Us to spank them 6 0 every game with Wilder Ball. Oh, here, yeah, I tell you what, right? I once got stuck into a Macken before and she was class, she was proper dirty. Was oh, class. tell us the story. She had a big ginger bush, you know, <laughs> <and> I was <laughs> class. <laughs> what, like Ludo or yeah, She, she was, was just class. like calling the rocks, like that. Oh. Well, no, she was class, man. Oh. The class Macken's, Muggy, Muggy Macken's, man. Muggy Macken's, yeah. Only the birds, the blokes all look like, you know what I mean? Like people from Newcastle that haven't evolved as much. Yeah, well, it's funny you say that because I, I once uh, scuttled a lass from that way as well and, and her eyes were on the side of her head. Oh, Admiral Akbar, well, yeah, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like, it was sort of like that moment when, you know, when they start kissing down your body and then they move all the way down to the crotch area, but she still got these eyes looking up at me at the side. Well, like, Admiral you know, Akbar. It was like getting, it was like getting, uh, was like getting gobbled off by a shabunkin. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. well, you should know because she likes to set traps for babies, you know what I mean? It's a trap. It's a Star Wars joke, that time. Is it? Oh, get out your virgin. Right, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right then, let's assess. Uh, I think I think um, we've already established we need to revamp the squad. Our songs. Oh, yeah, the songs. Songs first. Johnny Olsen needs to grow his hair that long and let, then the squad. Let, let's get people players in, then we know what songs we can do. All right then, right, well, I'm going to go through a list of players who I think uh, we should sell, and some of it I think has been announced already. We've already seen who's been released and yep, not been like, retained. Let's talk a bit about disappointed them. about uh, La 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 Bamba, who's uh, sadly not being kept on, but... Um, he, he hasn't done out wrong, and he was no. class, right, and he did do well, and but 37, 
consistent and he's about as fast as me and you, Ted, to Consistency, be fair. wasn't it? He had some good he games. He was good. But then when he came up against certain opponents, you could see the cracks in his game. Uh, yeah, I, I, if he's been brilliant, we are Teesside, we are proud. And I tell you what, so if you're listening to this, which you probably are. He will be. He will be, right. You are welcome to come and shag my mum any time you want because you're oh, class, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we love you up here. You can move up the arm and you can hang about with Pallister because all oh, but a central defender's drinking the bull. Yeah. Yeah, right. So you get yourself up here and you can be home forever if you want to. But we've really enjoyed you this season and it's so sad that you have to go. But if we're going to move on, Ted, we need to get the average age down a little we bit. We do. I mean, I mean it, 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 it's, a, it's a bit disappointing the influence we're going to lose there with Bamba and the dressing room um, sort of camaraderie he brings because he's, yeah. he's, he's a good coach and as well. I reckon he could give you a good bat because he's quite a big lad, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe a lot. Uh, I've heard a rumour, and this is just a rumour, so don't blame me for this, but I've heard a rumour that a lot of the other lads had a word about Bamba to the manager saying that his cock was too big in the shower. <laughs> it was too big in the shower. It was showing them all up. I've you heard know. Pringles tin. Pring, big Pringle, one. Yeah. Big Pringles. Yeah. Extra 33%. Well, I. <laughs> but yeah, that's not the real reason. We're just dickheads. Uh, yeah. So, but uh, we, yeah, we talked about that. Now, I'm going to go through my list of who I think we should uh, should sell, right? How are we then? So, uh, I don't know how much money this will accumulate. Certainly, as the first two are the first goalkeepers. I'll, the two I'll goalkeepers. work it out as we're going along, right? Um, so, we've got the first two goalkeepers, um, uh, which is Daniels and Lumley. I would sell them um, I don't think we're going to get much for them possibly you might get a million quid for the what, two what, of them what, how much do Quavers go for now with this <laughs> <laughs> so we get NASA in to do some conversions uh, conver- uh, yeah right I'm going to go I think we're going to be even shorter than that I'll go for half a mil for the pair of them half a mil just to get rid of them just to get rid of them yeah I- yeah. I mean Daniels he did he did better than Lumley for me um, towards the end of the season I wouldn't mind it if he stayed on as a backup keeper um, but for me Joe Lumley um, I'd cash in on him um, he's just you, you, Wilder has always had a quality goalkeeper, hasn't he? When you think about the Man United Henderson one he had at loan at Sheffield United, well, I um, there, there, there are others that I don't I, know. I think, right? I honestly think Shaka Heslop might be back. Shaka. <laughs> I've seen him, <laughs> classman oh, Shaka, forty-eight-year-old Shaka Heslop. Shaka attack. Why, why don't? Why don't? They just say, like, West Ham, look, give us back our keeper. Yeah, but he's always, you've only stuck we him on the bench. Him, yeah, you've not played him. He's class. He's like, got an eye. He's Irish. You've been doing the negotiation. Away. Away, mate. Away. 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 Yeah. Away. Away. <laughs> they just give in then, don't they? <laughs> you think about that, right? Uh, what's, what's he called again? Darren Randolph. Da- Dazza, yeah. Dazza, Dazza Randolph, yeah. You've got Dazza Randolph and then your backups, you've got Zach Hemming and Sol Brin or even Brad James as well. They're your, they're your four keepers there. So you've got a good backup there in Brin and Hemming because they've both got experience in Scotland, won players of the year and well, stuff I- like that. You drop them in on the odd cup game against Sunderland because you won't get beat off them. And, uh, and then, or even if you do keep Daniels as a backup, I think we need an experienced goalkeeper. You know, like when the Borough signed Shea Given before? Oh, he was mint. That made I? a class difference, didn't it? Yeah, well, I... When we signed Gary Walsh, that made a class difference. <laughs> Do you know what oh, I thought you meant the other lad who used to play uh, for, like, Portsmouth and Man City and that, you know, with the long hair, Paul Walsh. Uh, <laughs> I never played in Gary, goal. When we had Alan Miller, it made a difference. Yeah, you know, well, experienced I... goalkeepers who've been around experienced um, sort of teams, you know, like who've, who've, like Man City, Man United, that type of thing. played at a certain level. Yeah, and yeah. Been, and the coached at a certain level. And they've been, like, everyone knows when you're playing football against your mates, they just belting balls at you and imagine they've yeah. had some quality players just smashing balls at them in training yeah. haven't they I kid you not right I went and watched the, the Butter team at Rockcliffe and Joe Lumley was shouting no blasties <laughs> <laughs> so what does that say but yeah so right next up what's, who, who, who am I going to sell from the defence right Granty Hall Sell him, you know what I mean. He's 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 a division below us player. I did. Is he? I thought he'd just gone here. Wall him. No, he's, he's, he's apparently uh, he just he can't get him off the sunbeds. Well, so he's, <laughs> he's just, sunbed addict at Rockcliffe. Yeah, well, no, I, I like the, I like the lad, but again. Quite injury prone and and not strong enough for the team to get. Not mobile enough for me. He's yeah. not mobile enough. 
Um, so Hall's got to go for me. Coulson, sell Coulson. Um, is he is he going to come back? Can we not just I think give him he's away? Back. I think he's back now from his loan. Um, I would. I he's would done out up there, has he? At Ipswich. Get down rid there. of him. Get rid of him. And I would sign. Um, I would sign another two centre backs for the for the three centre back positions because you've got um, Fry, you've got McNair, and then you need two Vian for those positions. And Dyke Steele can obviously be one of them, or right back as well. Well, I am going to be controversial, as you Ted. Go on. On my one. Right, I'm getting Paddy out of that central defence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I, right, because I think Dyke Steel and Fry, and I'd like, I'd like an unknown but quality central defender possibly coming down from the Premier League, you know, that's yeah. done all right, but he's probably not right for the Premier League anymore to come yeah, down and yeah. just give a bit of steel to teach Fry a bit more, to work with him a bit more. And Dyke Steele's still a young lad, but remember, Paddy's not a proper centre-back. And I think with the gaps we might have in midfield coming up, Paddy could do a job there it's like he does, you know what I mean? It's a good point, it's a good point. And as he would say, that's a good point, that there, my lad. Um, so, yeah, but there's no harm in getting an experienced centre-back and uh, a, a young you know, up and coming one from a big club. We also need a back. I think Daniel Fisher's coming back, but he'll be classed yeah. for, like he'll play right with uh, Isaiah. Yeah. So that'll probably the so two. So right. Spence cashing on that. Yeah, twenty mil, yeah. and then we've got left back with Bowler, which I like Bowler. I, I reckon wonder, you'll get thirty for Spence. You know now. I think you will. I think, what, I think if not Forest go up and they get all that money from going up, we can say, wow, ah, well, you've got some you, cash you now, know haven't what, you, you know Price has gone up. Do you know what's going to happen there, Ted? All the Nottingham Forest fans are going to go, we're not fucking called Notts Forest. And they're going to kick off. What, what are they called? Nottingham Forest. Notts Forest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, yeah, that's, that's good, yeah. Uh, Taylor's gone. Um, I like Taylor, um, but he sort of like fizzled out. Pelty has gone. His air wasn't good enough for me. He wasn't on point. Then you've got to back up with Nathan Wood as well. I think it's a good option to in, in that division. I think he'll come into it this next season. We're open so. We're open so because his dad was class. Yeah. But we're open so, but I don't, I, I haven't seen him much that, that's made me full of hope with that one yet yeah. I like Bowler being on the left and I think what we need to do is get a proper left like a proper yeah, wing back to need, competition for Bowler we do, I think we do so I've got that on my list as well a left back wing back right then I've got centre midfielders um, I think we need a couple of them if I was to sell any of the players in the centre midfield position, I would get rid of Toyosi Olansanya because I don't know who he is. <laughs> well, he's only young lad, him. He just comes on now and again. He's nah. quite fast as well. Rubbish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd keep Piero because I'd like to get a pre-season under him um, and see what he can offer. Um, Sammy Amiobi. He's gone. Mate, he should be gone. He doesn't, What's he, he doing? He doesn't, he doesn't, there's not even a picture of him on the website. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. just a badge. Right. Everyone Ted else talks. is doing like pauses and stuff like that. There's just a badge for him. Can Amiobi. we please do a drawing of Sammy Amiobi and send it into the borough? <laughs> put this on the website. So you've got Tav, you've got Piero, you've got Crooksy, um, you've got Housen, you've got Jones, you've got McGree, and you've got Cale and Boyd Munts as well. But then I would... He's got potential months. Yeah, he's got... He's got the bunts has got potential on it. The bunts, <laughs> the as bunts, I'm going to call yeah. him. Yeah. Well, I think they're all they're all decent, right? If you were going to be massively controversial, right? Massively. And you wanted to get some money. Crooks, he might be a shout to go out there. But no. he's our top scorer. And I love him. I love Matty Crooks. Please don't think I'm not. But if you're going to generate some money, maybe, that might be because he, he is quite immobile and he's now got the highest number of yellow cards ever in the championship when he got 16 in one season. So he obviously right. is a dirty get, which I like. Yeah. But why don't we use him in a very much uh, Fellaini role? Why don't we play him up front? Because he can score goals and he's a big awkward get and we can put someone little like Watmore around him. Why not? And he can hold the ball up it's and he can Chris turn. Chris Wilder away though, is it? But it gives us a second option, you know, like yeah. when teams work us out, push him up front. I'd keep him, but if someone offered me four or five million quid for him, I'd say, I think he's yeah, you can have him. But he, he, yeah, I don't own him, but you can have him. I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I think he's worth more than that. And I love him as well, but I, I'd say, right, everyone gives Tav like loads of pelters, right? But I'm going to tell you, the lad is a machine, right? And he's dirty and he's a wind up. I, 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 he is what you need in that division, yeah, Tav. He's just yeah. a workhorse. And, and he's, he, he's got quality as well when he wants to. Uh, I quite like McGree. I think he's been I decent. Agree. He's he? got potential. He has had some shitty games, but he's only just coming into the into the club, isn't he? Yeah, you've got to give him give him next season as well now, yeah. Um 
But yeah, I think, uh, and the good thing if you did get rid of Matty Crooks is we'd see a reduction in their haircuts on Teesside. Uh, <laughs> so, which, which is... Yeah, oh, but how would nice. we work the song then? Well, that's another good would thing. Would it be hair is fine? <laughs> <laughs> I've told you, I've told you what the, the, the Butter fans need to start singing. And it's, uh, it's... Riley McGree... Riley McGree. Uh, 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 take uh, on me. Excellent, yeah. Do you like uh, that? It's good, yeah. Score as a goal. Riley <laughs> McGree. I don't think the fans of Teesside are going to have it, but I like it myself. Too. They don't have the Cracker. vocal range, do they? No, uh, yeah, you need. It would if I'm in the crowd, I can help out. Yeah. But um, I'm usually pissed. So. Uh, what type of midfielders do you think we need to sign him? Because if you've said if you said McNair can step into there, he can do a defensive I, I, midfield I would, role, right, can't see, he? See where Johnny's been class this season. Sometimes yeah. his legs go a bit, and yeah. I could step him and Johnny could sort of fifty fifty that position. Yeah. I'd still keep or, or when McGree's not starting, you could press it. Or when when Crooks has been mm. suspended, do you know what I mean? Which is a lot. You could have him playing that. But for me, yeah. we need a bit of attacking quality because that's that's where we're falling down at the minute. We've seen we'll be able to shield it well enough and. We pass Number ten, back. don't we? I we know need... Piero's number ten, but we need someone probably ahead of him who's more established, and Piero can be that. Yeah, hey, listen, right? I have, guy. I have it on good quality, proper, true for this. Piero's only on the protein this season, and he's will be class next season. Where has he been? Not, has he been down, David Lloyd? He's been, down, yeah, he's been getting some protein in him, bro. Right, and he's going to be class next season. He's going to proper beef up because he's been a bit lightweight. So the lads have been well. Get yourself some Steel City kid, yeah. and he's been like proper knocking them out. Are you stopped eating that little, drinking that little Argentinian pot you've been no, doing? Exactly. Yeah, wanting a bit of cat in it. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> he's going to be massive next season, and that'll beef him up. And I think he's a good player. And you're right, he's, but I think a proper dynamic number ten is. What we're after, someone who can yeah, change the yeah. game a little bit more. I don't know who though. Don't, don't, we have faith in Wilder. If you've got any suggestions, listening to the podcast, you know, have a comment on the uh, on the page and let us know who you think we should sign as a, as a number ten option um, for the uh, for the Middlesbroughs. You know what I mean? Strikers then, Mala. Strikers right. now. This all of them go. On. <laughs> no, do you know what? Right, we've still got Uchi Ikapuzo. Uh, I think he's. I think he's on a, a to buy for the, got a, yeah. the thing. Yeah, I think, I think if we don't, we've got to sell him, right? And that then leaves what more on Corburn, right? I'll keep, keep them both. Of them. Yeah, keep both. Like. But I would sign I'd separate another him. three. Two gingers that need to be either side the dressing room. It will stink a box piss in that dressing room. <laughs> I mean, one has to go one side, one has to go the other. It's a good point, that. You don't want a pissy, be- pissy dressing room. No, well, I... Oh, God, we had one of them at Thornaby Rangers. We did, well, I... Uh, that was because you kept on pissing. I know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so three strikers, right? To uh, I mean, we don't want... I don't mind a loan, but they've got to be more thought out loans this I'd, time. I'd have Balogun back, I think, because he had a bit of quality and he did set up some goals. And I think maybe he's somebody who could be that number 10 if he dropped back a bit, but I still yeah. want him to play up front. I see Balogun playing in a Liverpool formation, you know, in a sort of Salah or Diaz yeah, well, role. I, well, that's what we're going for next season, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you go one for one, I mean, you know what I mean? Matty Crooks is our, like, plumate, what's he called? Flaminio. Uh, Flaminio. Well, I <laughs> going to get yeah. his teeth done, he look class. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, but how good would it be, like, if we got a proper fox in the box, you know, a proper poacher? Because he's always had one wild, wasn't he? When they had Billy Sharp, um, he get Billy goals Sharp. out of him, didn't he, Galore? If There must be someone out there who they've got their eye on who has got a, an impressive goal-scoring record. A son belonger. No, we're not having him. Well, he did, this is what I mean, though. Right, we are butter, we are proud, but we ruin strikers. Like, everyone yeah. comes to us and they've got, like, look at your man. Right, oh, we're going to buy this bloke from uh, the Tolland League. He scored 50 goals in one season. Yeah. He's mint. Look at what fucking Alves turned out like. Yeah. Fucking shite. Hey, yeah, look at Brisson Belongadonga. Uh, Boxic wasn't great, was he, really? No, he he's, did got, all he's right. a class player, but he's just lazy bastard. Yeah. But a class player... Um, what about... Ravinelli and Hamilton Rickard, Ham the Man, are our last two really good goal scorers. And Paddy Banford had stick in there as well because he did well for that season. Yeah. And before that, you look at like Even when we had Bernie. Jordan Rhodes, we broke him. And, and he was, was he, class. He, he was, was knocking him yeah. everywhere. Um, <coughs> and the yeah. fucker always comes and scores against us now I as know. well. The little bastard. Uh, 
Yeah, so I think we need three strikers to uh, because Coburn for me will probably play his part next season, but I don't think he's going to be a starter. Watmore doesn't have the legs to play a full season, but no. he can do a good job um, starting some impact. games or coming impact on. Impact yeah, well, if you've got three quality strikers, that's another. T- that's five quality strikers. I, I'm going to call something out here from the academy. Are you ready? Go on. Right, Graham Cavanagh's young lad is in the academy, yeah. and he has been absolutely scorching yeah. for him. Right, he's a young lad. He, I think he's 19. Give him a go. Cal- why not Callum Cavanagh get him on give him a go let's have a look because right if he's not going to be in for fun in the academy why not have a go because look what Coburn's done and his dad was class and why not Right, I've just I've just went onto the um, the page now of uh, you know where it shows all the pictures of the the first team. You can go on to the reserve team and the under 18s as well, the under 23s and the 18s. Right? And the difference in photos is proper funny. Like, <laughs> you can tell these kids have got some attitude. You've got ones doing like shush marks on the fingers like that. Come and have a look at these, Bella. Right, have a look. Right, look. Look at him, he's doing that. See, but Daniel Dodds, he's doing some funky sort of camera thing. George, <laughs> you too, he's going shut your mouth. Josh Wells is pointing at the ceiling like he's cool, as right? Jack Robinson's going to knock a bat Jack, Jack Robinson's just got like a massive fist. Look at that Look fist. at that. Hey, look at what that is. <laughs> oh, yes. Look, look at Farrell Williams. He's doing a muscle tent. Farrell Willis, you are the man. Lucas the Reed one. is sprinkling what can only be described as herbs on a potato. Isaac Fletcher's having a fight. Isaac Fletcher's having a fight. Malik, <laughs> Malik Jig steals Scotland. <laughs> That's class. He's Scotland there. Harry Green's just scored some skunk. He's, he's happy about that, aren't he? <laughs> Sam Collins is getting weird for the uh, before a wrestling fight. All, all there. I want to see it is right. If you look at Sam Paulin's face, that's how NASA looks most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Seavey, he's freezing at the minute in that photo. He's not he's happy about that. that. Uh, let's have a look as well. Joe Ridley, he must be thirty-five. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. I bet you he's banging mums down there. Uh, oh, yeah, I bet time, he's it. doing some serious mummage. Well, I isn't he? Look at that. Alberto Baldi, uh, he's just like, doesn't know what he's doing there. Callum Kavanagh, loan out. Callum Kavanagh, loan out. And then Josh Coburn, who's in every squad. Yeah, He's class, man. I love them pitches. Oh, and then the under 18 is just very, very... They get told the word about to have funny. Oh, Louis Evans, there, got a little noodle he's, like He's that. going for a bit of a crook. Yeah. Let's have a look at the but first the, team. The first team, look at the keepers, dead miserable, apart from the reserves. What's uh, Dyke Skill? There's a family scuttle going on there. Yeah, the Dyke Skill scuttle. Well, Link Pelty is pointing as if to say, don't you dare release me. Is Dill Guy <laughs> doing the gun show? <laughs> I think so, it. yeah. Grant Hall's uh, got an idea, yeah? Class. <laughs> 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 Look at Tav there with his fingers in his ears. Man, Piero's just parachuting. Either that or he's see. tossing two men off. What well, could be? Look at that, yeah. Matty Crow. Oh, look at Isaiah Jones getting gobbled. Why, why He's getting do, gobbled off. Why, why, do, why do Riley McGree and Colin Boyd Munts both look like they're doing a gypsy call out fighting? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, listen, Middlesbrough fans, go to mfc.co.uk yeah, forward slash teams better. forward slash Middlesbrough and have a look at the profile pictures. They are really funny. Yeah, they, yeah. for next season, we want some better profile pictures because they are class. And Ted, at the beginning of next season, can we have a look back through and give them ratings out of 10? That's a great idea. Yes. That's a great idea. Write it down on your little pad, oh, well, and there no, you I'll go. Don't know, Mala. Thank you very much for that. Oh, interesting discussions there about the middle spurs. I do have a very special announcement, Matters. Um, the podcast is now on the uh, 116th episode, and we will be stopping the podcast for our summer break as of next week on episode 117. But fear not, fear not, because if you are a member of the TED Talks, uh, Ted Anki podcast Facebook group, we'll be dropping some exclusive content in there for you uh, over, the, uh, over the coming months and stuff like that, some videos some um, exclusive podcast stuff all that type of stuff and the same goes for the Patreons as well who'll be getting even more exclusive content um, but what it is is yeah it's come to the end of the season and we try and run the podcast now a bit like the footy seasons as well so we're going to be restarting it back up in September and you're probably thinking oh the season season starts in August you doyle you know what I mean yeah but I'm up in Edinburgh in, in August trying to earn coin and get critical acclaim and loads of, loads of Scottish flange as well that's up there so uh we'll be starting it back up in September so next week episode 117 will be the final episode for a few months but like I say there will be exclusive stuff dropped in and about the TED Talks Ted Anki podcast Facebook group so if you've not joined it yet 
search for it. It's under the listings uh, whenever I put the podcast episodes on as well. So you just click on it and join it. And um, it's only for exclusive podcast fans. No Doyles in there, no Shite Orcs, no Bellwiths, just you beautiful matters. Um, and we like to just, uh, we're going to be doing some little videos in there and we've got some great stuff coming up, me and Mala. But we feel that just doing a weekly podcast is getting on our fucking tits. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't really it, we have got other things going on and uh, we talk a lot about the borough and that and when the borough aren't playing there's only so much Teesside Live you can cover you know what I mean that's right isn't it Mala are you well I are you because oh. I tell you now you think I'm reading the Northern Echo you've got another thing coming yeah, Ted yeah yeah and we need to get prepared in case the Sunderlands do get promoted so we need to um, start putting sandbags out and stuff like that you know what I mean scruffy bell whiffs um, yeah so that's how it works really yeah good <laughs> Yeah, that concludes this week's effort. What are you doing, Mala? Well, you put me on the release list for this TED Talks here. So, I mean, what's cracking here? <laughs> well, what I'm hoping to do is that one of these other top 10 podcasts might release a host and I can sign well, it for a place. That's all right, because I'm going to go now have a contract talk with Mac and Madness. Oh! They're looking to be coming up and they're, they're wanting to I'm just going to practice my accent. Are you ready? Go on. How are you? Why are you doing Good, yeah. It got sounds it. about right, doesn't it? No, hey, yeah, I'm going to go on my summer holidays. Uh, well, after next week, but I need to go and get my bucket, my, uh, my other bits and bobs, yeah. and more drugs paraphernalia that I take with me. Yeah, yeah, Mala there. Off to prepare for his three monthly holiday to Bridlington, um, where he is known as the Bridlington Bummer. I don't know why. No one does. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to the show this week. Um, it's been an interesting one, it really has. Um, we are coming up to the uh, Hanky Panky Comedy Club at Beer and Beer. Um, that's very, very soon. On uh, the 27th, Friday the 27th of May, where we've got World One Liner champ um, Stephen Cookson closing the show. It's going to be a great one. Tickets are currently buy one, get one free until the 15th of May. They're selling fast, so if you're thinking of coming... Get them early. And then in June, we've got the wonderful Mickey Peaker. I think that's Friday, June the 24th. Um, Mickey Peaker, who's obviously been in the final, Britain's Got Talent, very funny. So regardless, even if the podcast stopping over the summer, the Hanky Panky Comedy Club is running up until the end of uh, July. Uh, and then that will be restarting back up um, in October. So please get your tickets and enjoy the comedy. That's all I'm saying. T-shirts at Ted Hanky. T-shirts.com are flying. Some proper class designs such as Booker's Folk. Uh, proper T-side me like. All that type of stuff. Have a look at them. Up the Borough Believe on there as well. They always sell really well. Perfect for your holly poppies. The holly poppies. You can wear one of them. Picture of me on your chest when you're lying on the beach of Scarborough. It'll be proper mint. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, yeah, as I said earlier, join the podcast group on Facebook. Facebook. Um, if not, have a look at the Patreon and sign up to that as well for uh, for three pounds a month. And uh, it's uh, it's it's only going to get better over the coming months. The only way is up for TED Talks, the Ted Anki podcast. Uh, but I'm going to love you and leave you now. Um, have a wonderful week. Please share the podcast around and, as per usual, up the borough and believe.